In this video, we will show you how to integrate PagerDuty with Microsoft Teams. A few callouts before we begin. A PagerDuty admin is required to authorize connection of PagerDuty to Microsoft Teams. Your Teams admin must enable third-party apps for your organization in order to download the PagerDuty app. Start by going to the Microsoft Teams Marketplace App Store and search for the PagerDuty app. Select PagerDuty for Microsoft Teams. On the App Preview page, use the drop-down and click Add to a Team, then select a team or channel for initial installation. Please note the application will be applied to all channels within the selected team. Finally, click Set up a bot to install the application. After installation, you will receive a message in a private chat confirming that installation is complete. Click into the chat message and click Authorize if you are a PagerDuty admin to connect your team to PagerDuty. If you are not a PagerDuty admin, you can hand off the remaining setup steps to a PagerDuty administrator in your organization. Start by clicking the I'm not a PagerDuty admin button. The message will be expanded with additional instructions on completing authorization. To complete application authorization, a PagerDuty admin must use the app command Authorize plus a unique key to complete authorization. After clicking Authorize, a PagerDuty login page will open in a separate window. Log in with admin or account owner credentials to connect PagerDuty to the previously selected team. After a successful login, the account will be authorized and you will be directed to a PagerDuty's Microsoft Teams add-on page. At this stage, a Teams administrator is no longer required for these remaining steps. You can now begin mapping PagerDuty services to your Microsoft Teams channel. A Microsoft Teams channel can be connected to one or many PagerDuty services. Expand the team that you have connected to PagerDuty and click Connect Notification Channel. Select which PagerDuty service and which Microsoft Teams channel that you would like to connect to each other from the drop-downs. Click Connect to complete the integration. You have now connected a PagerDuty service to a channel in Microsoft Teams. When a new incident is triggered in PagerDuty, a notification will appear in Teams. Repeat these steps to connect additional channels and services. To perform incident actions via Microsoft Teams, responders must link their PagerDuty and Microsoft Teams user accounts. In Microsoft Teams, a welcome message was posted by the PagerDuty application bot in the general channel. Use the Link Accounts button to receive a personal account mapping link. Unable to find a welcome message? In a private chat message with PagerDuty bot, type at PagerDuty link user. After initiating user account linking, you will receive a private chat message with a personal account mapping button. Click the button. A PagerDuty login page will open in a separate window. Log in with user credentials to connect PagerDuty to your Microsoft Teams account. To unlink a user account connection, type at PagerDuty unlink user in a private bot message. You will receive an unlink accounts button and confirmation to complete the process. Now, let's verify and conduct a simple test of the integration workflow. In PagerDuty, create a new incident. Be sure to select a service that is connected to a Microsoft Teams channel. After the incident is triggered, open Microsoft Teams to view the new incident notification. After an incident notification has been posted in the channel, channel members can add a note, acknowledge, and resolve an incident. All incident actions performed in Microsoft Teams will update the incident in PagerDuty. To perform an incident action in Microsoft Teams, a user's PagerDuty and Microsoft Teams account must be linked. If their account is not linked, they will receive a private bot message with a personal link to complete the process. The PagerDuty application allows users to interact with the application's bot via app commands. In any of your team channels, you may enter at PagerDuty and then the command. To create a new incident, type at PagerDuty trigger. An incident creation form will appear. Be sure to input the required fields, service, and incident title. PagerDuty users with admin and manager permissions can also use an app command to connect a PagerDuty service to a Microsoft Teams channel. Type at PagerDuty connect plus the service URL. 
To get the service URL, open the PagerDuty service page and copy and paste the browser URL. This command can only be used by PagerDuty admins and managers. A PagerDuty admin or account owner can disconnect a Teams channel from a PagerDuty service via the PagerDuty extensions page. To remove a service to channel connection, click the down arrow next to the notification channels and then click the remove button next to the service to channel connection delete. To disconnect a team from PagerDuty, click the disconnect button located next to the team name to initiate disconnect. A pop-up message will appear that will require the admin to input disconnect in the text field. Then click I understand my actions, disconnect PagerDuty from Microsoft Teams to complete the disconnection. By disconnecting PagerDuty from a Microsoft team, all channels to service connections will be deleted and user account mappings will be removed. This concludes how to install, configure, and test the PagerDuty Microsoft Teams integration. For more information, please visit the integration guide.